Hey everybody, we're going to play a little bit of Kerbal Space Program. This is going to be a three-part series, a three-part tutorial on uh, how to play Kerbal Space Program. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go over some of the spaceship designs, basic spaceship designs. And then after that, in the second episode, we're going to go into orbit uh, and try to give ourselves a good orbit. And finally, after that, uh, we're going to try to launch a satellite and get that thing spinning around. Uh, and so this is Kerbal Space Program. Let's get our game started. The game is ver currently in version 8.8.4, I should say. Um, and so if you have a newer version, if you're watching this video later, uh, not all these things may apply, but hopefully they uh, will still help you out. And so we're going to start out. This is your command module. This is where your, uh, your astronauts... Uh, the Kerman brothers will uh, ascend into space. And of course, we have to bring them back safely. So we're going to give them a parachute. Next thing we want is we're going to take the stack decoupler. What the stack decoupler is going to do is it's going to give us uh, the ability to separate at will uh, part of the rocket from another part of the rocket. So for example, uh, in this very simple example, if we were to try to use the parachute without... Um, the stack decoupler, the weight would be too great and the whole uh, rocket would crash to the ground when we tried to uh, save the brothers. So um, first thing we want to do is we always want a stack decoupler. Now we have a few engine choices. One is to use a solid booster and solid boosters are very good. They're cheap, they're light, um, they're great for first stages. Um, you can't control them. They're kind of like a bottle rocket. Once you light it, it's going to go full speed until it runs out of power. They're, they're, uh, they're good for starting off um, because they're so light, they're so powerful, uh, they don't run very long, um, and so there are a lot of limitations, but they're a great start. And so if we were just to uh, launch, our, launch our rocket, we just press, press space, uh, and we'll go up, and I can use the WSAD keys um, to kind of move around a little bit, and the Q and E keys to spin a bit, and you can see our rocket going up, and soon we'll be out of fuel. And uh, oh, you can see I just stopped. I just separated the two. Of course, they didn't separate because the rocket's still pushing into itself. So I'll have to wait for the rocket to run out. Now there it's run out. And you can see now we're going to fall back to Earth. A uh, few things. There goes our rocket. Here is our, uh, if we're going up or down. So now we're, we were going up. Now we're going back down again. And we'll probably see our rocket bit come by again. Uh, here's our altitude in meters. Here's our speed. Now this is like our speed going up or down. It's just the speed of wherever we're heading. We have our nav ball, which or our gimbal, which is uh, contains two things. One is uh, a green uh, marker with an X in it. This is the opposite of where we're going. Blue is sky, brown is dirt. And then um, this yellow, whoop, that's hard to see, that yellow there, that is where we're going, which is we're heading straight down. Um, and then, of course, this orange right here, this is where we're pointing. So we're pointing straight up, and we're heading straight down at so many meters per second. Now, when we get to around 500 meters, our parachute uh, will open up. There it goes. And we'll uh, descend safely, and the, the brothers will be fine. So let's uh, make a little bigger rocket, because that didn't go very high. Um, so we can use liquid fuel rockets. Now liquid fuel rockets, they're more expensive, they're heavier, they're a little more powerful, um, but what they really give you is the two, two major things. One is the, the ability to stack fuel tanks. So here is twice as much fuel. You can't stack these guys. If you stack them, they'll blow up. You have to sit them all right beside each other. Uh, so we have twice as much fuel uh, by only increasing our weight slightly. They're a bit heavier, mind you, because not only do you have a fuel tank, but you also have to have the engine itself. The other thing they allow you to do is they allow you to accelerate and decelerate. So let's launch our engine, accelerate up, and so we're at maximum speed. We're accelerating, and if I move this throttle on down by pressing control, shift accelerates, control decelerates, you can see we've turned off the engine, and now we're going to descend, and I'm just going to separate everything out, and so now we're going to float safely down to earth while our engine full of fuel crashes down on our launch pad. Now, 
another important aspect of a rocket design is having control. I showed you that you can use the WSAD keys and the Q and E keys to control your engine, but a nice thing to have is one of these SAS modules. Let's use one of these SAS modules. Let's launch our rocket, and I'm going to press F, hold F, to um, turn my SAS module on. You can see here it's turned on, and what it's going to do is just going to stabilize my ship a little bit. So if I try to move my ship over, it's going to correct it for me. The other thing I can do is, if I don't want to hold F the whole time, you know, for a 10-minute flight, I can press T and it'll lock it in there, and I can press T and take it off again. And what that's going to do is just help me stabilize my rocket just a little bit better. So let's continue on. Let's make, a, let's make a decent rocket now. So we've got our first stage. It's a very good first stage. Let's get something that gets really high up there. So we need our decoupler uh, because if we, oops, don't want that. If we don't have our decoupler uh, and we fire off our rocket, we'll just kind of mess things up and we can't do different stages. We need something to separate those parts. We're going to use a tricoupler. And what that's going to let us do is hook three rockets under here. So our rocket's gone from one stack to a three stack. Um, we're going to add a few more SAS modules. Now, if I do this, this is going to take a while because I have to add every single uh, little item on each stack. And so what I can do is get rid of this. I can turn on the symmetry tool. I can say three items because it's a tricoupler. And it makes things quite a bit easier. And we'll get a couple of these here and this here. And now we have a pretty decent rocket. Now, this rocket's pretty good. Let's see how we do. This will work very well. Let's accelerate our throttle up, turn our SAS on, and launch. Hey, we're not going anywhere. It seems that our rocket is just a tiny bit too heavy. Eventually, it runs low on fuel, but we're basically wasting fuel here. So we need a first stage. And of course, the best way to do a first stage, generally, is to use solid boosters. So we're going to use uh, these radial decouplers. They work just the same way as the, uh, the normal decouplers, except that they, uh, they hold a rocket on the outside rather than the top. We'll take our solid fuel boost boosters, and we've got three of those. And those won't quite be enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack a couple of these, and we're just going to sit them on the side of our rockets try to keep this as balanced as possible otherwise we'll spin out of control and that just isn't very fun for the brothers and so looking around we look like we have a pretty good rocket and let's see if we can do turn the SAS on launch our solid boosters you can see even with the SAS those solid boosters are pushing pretty hard trying to get the rock out of the control the SAS is fighting back doing pretty good job at it um, and so this is going to turn out pretty good once those are done, we're going to press uh, space again, and then space a second time, and that's going to send off our rockets, set off, and there we go, and set off our liquid boosters, and we can ride this one right up into space. And the edge of space is approximately, the atmosphere ends at about 35 kilometers, so if this rocket makes it up to 35 kilometers, we'll be doing pretty good, and I'm pretty sure it'll make it up there. All right, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, go out, make some rockets, make big rockets, make little rockets, make ridiculous stuff, try some mods. Um, this game is a lot of fun. Next time, we will see if we can go into orbit.